Hello guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel guys. My YouTube channel guys is Special Gaming, so don't forget to subscribe my channel guys. Guys, uh, I will show you and help you how to find the uh, stars. Uh, how to find the stars, what, what, is, what is the name of stars and the planet. So, this uh, application guys is uh, how to use uh, to find the stars. So that you can, you have some reference what, what the name of the stars and planet. So, all you need to do guys is uh, just uh, on your data or Wi-Fi connection just download this nautical almanac application in the play store so you can see guys as you can see in the light here messenger light below there and also YYP2P above there there's a nautical almanac there so all you need to do is to download it just uh, need some internet and data so it's uh, how many MB only it's very fast so now guys, we're pretending to already download, just click it and open it. And also guys, this is a default, so default settings, so uh, just go to extras, is this uh, below in the like it, extras. And here guys, you can switch on night mode, there, 1, 2, 3, 4, here, switch night mode to become good to your eyes. So all you need to do, just, just like that. It, if you like to change it's, it's up to you guys but these settings uh, only that one guys do not do not uh, do not uh, uh, some uh, manipulate the settings and also here automatically update time on startup just uncheck that one guys and all you need to do is uncheck that one only so back so just close again uh, just just close nautical almanac and guys turn off the, your internet no need for the internet to using this nautical almanac uh, applications no need for internet guys turn off your internet or if you like turn on uh, this nautical almanac is, guys is uh it's not a uh, it's not a uh, it's not a uh, required to use internet connection so the next steps you do guys or after this download this uh uh, application nautical almanac just go in the settings uh, yeah settings and find your android where is that date and time so date and time and this time guys uh, only for recording only for the recording but I already take this uh, position in the morning early in the morning that's why only this only in the recording this time so select time zone guys this is very important guys select time zone so i have in here uh, this song reception is standard time in philippine time but uh, in my position now present position we're nearby in the colombo so that i will change because the colombo is 5.1 plus 5 plus 5.1 or plus 5 5 uh, 30 minutes 5 hours and 30 minutes so you must be you must be you know your sound description guys so here we are here in colombo where's the colombo we're find colombo colombo 5.3 so colombo here plus 5.30 here so we are already here settings guys do not uh auto active time auto update time zone just only like that case GMT just nearby in the sound reception or nearby in your, your places in your position what is the sound reception so that's just very important guys so now we can already change just close it and go back to the nautical almanac application and now guys uh, we are already see things there and also now guys uh, you go you go in the DGPS or in your egg this they have some position there the GPS so much better you go in the DGPS guys and take the position there and take the UTC because uh, in DGPS they have some UTC there in the egg this they have some local time there the ship local time so much better you go in the DGPS to get the position and the UTC and also this uh, local time so here guys this nautical almanac is using this one is only for UTC 
and the uh, local times only for the record book the compass error book but uh, this application always using UTC so much better you go in the DGPS because DGPS always UTC there at that time so this is temporary guys uh, the position so I get the position now and then get the position now and then 34.1 so you can change north to south so we are not here so remember guys uh, that longitude is always three digit on latitude and only two digit so 0 27.5 so we are northeast so northeast so 2023 year and the date so now guys uh, the date today is 06 December but uh, I just uh, uh, using uh, uh, using a uh, UTC that's why it's 5 December because uh, our date today is 6 in December and the time is 0101 Three zero one o'clock, so our zone description is 5.5 .5 or 5.30, so plus 5.30, so minus this uh, local time to that your UTC is 19.31 and 30, 19.31 and 30. This is uh, your UTC guys, so you can use also this one here this one one o'clock is local time so always use utc so the time is correct the local time and also this utc time is correct so all you need to do just do not do not uh, ignore this one first guys later on i will explain that one so all you need to do is uh, how to uh know the stars or the name of the stars and the bearing of stars so you or did you see guys so you, you could, as you can see like it in, in the airplane mode below and below there is the extras so click the extras and now we have some uh, sky view sky view so that's it guys they have some lip corner 0 degrees 15 degrees 20, 30 degrees and 45 degrees and 60 degrees so that degrees guys is a uh, attitude of the uh, uh, the stars from the horizon to the above in your head are very uh, very high guys so all you need to do guys is just take uh, 25 degrees below between 15 degrees and 30 degrees 25 degrees below to the horizon so it will accurate guys so if you take this bearing 30 degrees above uh, maybe it's not accurate so you just can see guys Pollux, Regulus, Procyon that is the brightest stars guys this you can see in the circle this big circle that is the brightest stars so this Alpard Alpard guys is uh, not brightest stars because uh, maybe it's very far so you can take only the brightest stars so that you can know what are stars to that so our heading is 152 guys heading or gyro course 1.5152 so heading of the ship 152 so as, as you can see so canopus is 170.9 so it's, it's this is good you can take it guys because 30 degrees below is good yeah so as you can see guys in the in the inside the inside the bridge in the wings so you can see the stars the brightest stars that is canopus so you take a same circle guys and go to the starboard wings and take uh, the bearing of the uh, canopus and take note the bearing of the canopus uh, this is seen guys is this uh, bearing is the true bearing but uh, it's not uh, accurate yet because uh, this is temporary position and this is only for uh, reference to get the stars and to get know what is the name of stars so canopus you take canopus and uh, there's some archimer guys here if you see this one guys uh archer now so it's very at maybe 10 degrees uh, or 10 degrees below attitude it's much better like this here take the archer now if you see the archer now so it's not covering the clouds so if you see this one bright star that is a uh, archer now approximately bearing 207.7 this is a true bearing guys uh, this uh, approximately guys but it's not a uh, it's not a uh, not, 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 not it only just reference guys uh. so 
uh, a turner you take the bearing guys sight by Ashimbo circle and then now uh, pretending that already take the bearing guys you need to go inside quickly quickly as possible maybe around uh, minus uh, just uh, you consume go inside and take the position maybe around uh, below one minute guys You're supposed to be below one minute and you can take position so quickly quickly guys go to the inside the bridge go to DGPS and take the position again and back here and again mean and then you have position now this is new position guys 33.2 north and also 0.75 and also 28.0 this is the actual position guys uh, inside now you get the position now inside so the same chamber and then the time is changes yeah 19 35 40 so you can show me how many minutes guys just only just only temporary guys uh. you can show me how many minutes but must must be possible to get quick the inside the bridge and take the position so so four minutes guys uh that between four minutes so uh, it's not a big deal guys because uh only this that is not temporary and that is and you don't know how what is the name of the stars that one so this is the actual uh final guys that you take the final position at that time at this time you go inside the bridge so this is the very important case so so check the local time also the same minus and all is using UTC so now here click the archer nar you using archer nar and compass error so archer nar now so now guys you can see what is your heading and gyro course 152 and magnetic is 151 done and here you cite this 25 27.5 this uh gyro guys is 207.5 that means to see you cite this bearing outside the wings using asymmetry call is 207.5 that is guys so do not use this one guys uh one one point one point two point three point four point six seven eight only use point five or point zero that one guys because uh the gyro repeater don't have a uh, point one point two point three only in between so in between guys is point five and uh true sometimes true like this case one so it's okay guys because that that is the true bearing so leave it like that guys only you can change this gyro and also this variation you can change this one here here so you can change that one guys so if you calculate manually guys uh, using a scientific calculator analytical almanac so it's different sometimes it's different that you're true sometimes it may be like this point two or point three like that guys because uh, much better use uh, manually guys manually is very accurate case Th this one is I see sometimes uh, difference uh, there's some only small difference but uh, it's not big deal but you can use this one guys and also now guys they will only change guys uh, this gyro yeah, gyro this means to see gyro this is uh, you cite the bearing of the stars so variation guys here so it's not accurate also the variation because he will give this apps is not always updated uh, and then you can use this variation guys uh, you have if you have gps variation you can change it here and also if you calculate manually using the chart uh but magnetic variation they have i also i have video there how to calculate manually uh, magnetic variation so i will put the link there in the comments so that's it guys he automatically calculate all you need to do is just input gyro your heading magnetic your standard magnetic compass and also this gyro uh, using a similar circle in the gyro repeater you cite the, the stars and also variation 
So division here yeah, is very big case, but if you if the division is five degrees above, you need to report the captain because some um, maybe it will some uh, magnetic disturbance. So captain will uh, will make some report there or calibrate from the technician. So that's it, guys. It's very been so. Uh, it's very easy and uh, follow my instruction. So noted, guys, that uh, this is not very accurate, guys. Uh, the the accuracy as accuracy is this one is uh, maybe around ninety percent, but but uh, the if you see if you calculate manually using nautical almanac and scientific calculator or more stable, it will be you give if you they will give hundred percent accurate, guys. So that's it, guys. This. Uh, Compass uh, error and also this nautical almanac application in the cell phone. This is using me. I using this one only for reference. What kind of stars or, or the name of the stars? That's all, guys. And then I always using calculate manually, guys. So I have some link there video how to how to calculate. So that is, guys. Don't forget to follow my. Uh, YouTube channel Pasul Gaming and subscribe and also like and share and help the others guys. Thank you. Thank you very much